Good morning everybody, this is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest and today we're going to be talking about weapons in Ni no Kuni Crossroads. We're going to talk about the 3 star, 4 star, and 4 star plus versions, what some of the trends are between these weapons. We're also going to talk about what potentially the best weapons to equip are going to be. So let's go ahead and dig in. So you'll see here, I have an example of all of the fire weapons for the destroyer class. The first thing you need to know is that the weapons have the same passives and stats across all of the classes. So it doesn't matter if it is a destroyer weapon. It doesn't matter if it's a gun weapon. It doesn't matter what it is. They are all going to have the same passives and the same stats. Uh, looking at our three star weapon, you are going to notice that the three star hammer uh, for the fire weapons does give fire attack plus 10%, accuracy rate plus 3%, and critical damage plus 5%. This is going to be standard across all three star weapons. So if you have a three star light based weapon, dark based weapon, you know, etc, etc, they are all going to have either dark based attack up, fire based attack up, depending on the element that they are. And so you don't really need to know what all the different three star weapons do because their passives are all the same. Very similar with the Legendary Plus weapons. Uh, that's going to be the weapon here on the far right side. They are all going to have Critical Damage plus 20%, Accuracy Rate plus 7%, and Damage to the Element that they are strong against plus 50%. So for the Legendary Plus weapons and the Three Star weapons, you pretty much don't need to think about them. You just need to know that the Light and the Dark Legendary Plus weapon are a little bit different, and we'll talk about that here in a second. The four star weapons though change the game a little bit and the reason the four star weapons change the game is while they all have accuracy plus 5% and critical damage plus 10% in their fully awakened form, they do have different plus 30% modifiers to different aspects of your character. For example, the fire weapon is, in my opinion, one of the best, which gives basic attack damage plus 30%. That's going to be all the white damage that your character is going to be dealing. Uh, for certain classes that deal more damage away from their skills, like Destroyer, uh, this is going to be very important. Uh, and arguably, depending on the situation, it could be best in slot in the future for some classes in the future as well. Uh, likely, you're going to be setting, you know, three legendary plus weapons if you are truly best in slot uh, but for almost every class you will want this four star fire weapon max awakened and i think a lot of the times you're going to want to have it set in almost all of your elemental specific kits just to get this passive bonus of basic attack damage plus 30 percent uh taking a look at some of the other four star weapons right now uh, water is not nearly as interesting. I think water is probably the weakest among them. Uh, it does give special skill damage plus 30%. Not too interested in that as I am the earth weapon, which gives basic skill damage plus 30%. I feel like the basic skills uh, are on a lower cooldown. At least they... Woo! Wrong button there. Uh, at least they are on um, my rogue. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's maybe you know, going to be better for just rogue or if it's going to be better for all of the classes. I do tend to lean in on the basic skill damage. You'll kind of have to make that call for your individual character. Uh, and then for the light and dark based four star weapons, uh, they give damage up to the opposing element that you're attacking. Uh, so they're going to give uh, damage to darkness monsters plus 15% if it's the light based weapon uh, and damage to light based monsters if it is the dark based weapon. So Overall, the only thing that's really different and complicated is going to be the four star weapons. The one other class of weapons that you do want to think about and consider uh, is going to be the four star dark and light weapons. Now, these weapons are really good. Uh, you're going to see that the Milky Way hammer uh, or any of the Milky Way weapons uh, giving critical hit rate plus 20% along with critical damage plus 20% is monstrous. That is going to increase your damage substantially in this game so if you can manage to get the milky way hammer it will 100 percent be worth investing in uh very similar to the chronos hammer as well the chronos hammer is going to give attack speed plus 25 percent so if you can imagine pairing this with some of the other weapons uh that either are enhancing crit damage if you have another legendary plus gear uh that you can equip or if you can have the elemental advantage and set this in the secondary slot for that attack speed up or maybe you only have the fire based 
four star with basic white damage up, right? Pairs really well with attack speed up. Uh, you're going to manage to be doing a lot of damage here. So uh, surprisingly, there is not a lot of variation in the weapons. Uh, when I set out to make this video, I was surprised that it seems like there's more variation almost in the armors uh, than there is actually in the weapons in the game. And it feels like uh, it's going to be quite easy to kind of settle into a meta that there will be a best in slot. I think the problem most people are going to run into is that getting that best in slot is going to be pretty difficult. Uh, the rates are really low. You're basically going to be weapon crafting non-stop to try and get these and if you pay attention to the weapon smith if you look at his rates they aren't the best for the four star plus weapons and i don't even have one four star plus weapon yet and i put 250 dollars into the game i have been you know playing the game non-stop so i'm already thinking about you know my best in slot for me might end up being like a four star fire bow max awaken for that basic attack speed plus or basic uh basic attack damage plus 30 percent uh, i'm looking at potentially going back right i'm looking at you know maybe i am going to use a three star weapon right so that i get that fire attack plus 10 percent i'm looking at the stats of the fire attack and the attack and the attack of the other four star weapons and trying to gauge you know is the special skill damage plus 30 percent going to be actually important and relevant in all of my builds right would i have for example all of the skill levels that i would need in order to really benefit from that uh it's lots of things to think about with this and i think there's a lot of places you could go uh, i'm curious what you guys think down in the description down below uh so let me know again this game is all about the long game it's all about going slowly so uh you know build up slowly over time and eventually we'll all get there and i think we're all going to end up with all of these weapons eventually if we are playing this game so uh, thank you so much for watching guys. Please remember to subscribe if you are a new viewer We are going to go ahead and cover all of the armors in a separate video and have a great rest of your day